Hi, my name is Mohamed Morsi. I'm a vascular surgeon and a professor of vascular surgery at UAMS. So the actual word aneurysm it, it means enlargement. And aneurysm can be associated with any artery. So any artery can get enlarged. It can, it's a ballooning of the artery. So an aortic aneurysm is an aneurysm of your main blood vessel in your, in your body, which is in your chest and in your belly. And the most common type of aneurysm is called an abdominal aortic aneurysm. So triple A, aortic, uh, abdominal aortic aneurysm. So most aneurysms occur in your belly, in your abdomen. They occur below the kidney arteries. And so the normal aorta is roughly about a couple of centimeters in diameter. When that aorta, as it starts to enlarge, becomes five to five and a half centimeters, then it has a, a very substantial risk of rupture. And so that's, that's when we consult with the patient, look at the total patient, and then, and then uh, for the most part, everything else being equal, we recommend that aneurysm be fixed to prevent it from rupture. If an aneurysm ruptures, then it's a very, very high mortality rate. So who develops aneurysms? Who develops triple A's? Elderly men and elderly women, okay? Older, older patients. When I said I divided those two because women do get aneurysms, but they occur in a little bit later in life, okay? About 10 years later than when they occur in, 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 in men. So starting around 65, 70, 75 is when we see aneurysms in men, and about add 10 years to that for women. Smokers. Smoking is a risk factor for aneurysm. Most patients, an aneurysm is identified when they're having a CAT scan or an ultrasound for something else. You go into the emergency room, you're having some belly pain, the, an ultrasound or a CAT scan of your abdomen is obtained and then they see an aneurysm. So let's say it's four, four and a half centimeters in diameter. That patient then will be referred to the vascular surgery department here at UAMS. We will look at that CAT scan or ultrasound, determine that it is there is no rupture or there's no leak in that aneurysm, and that you know that will have been done in the ER. But we'll confirm that, and then we will say to the patient, we'll do a good physical exam, a good history, and then we'll tell the patient this is less than five and a half centimeters, and we will see you back in six months with another ultrasound, and then we will warn them and we will caution them about the signs and symptoms of a rupture aneurysm. And that's something everyone should know. An aneurysm, if it's rupturing, will be like a knife, will be a knife-like, very, very sharp pain in your back, okay? You will feel very, very weak. You will, your legs sometimes will give out on you. You'll be cold and clammy. Your abdomen may actually be pulsating. That's a absolutely life and death emergency. Call 911. You need to get to an emergency, emergency room right away. If you have a vascular uh, problem, if you have a vascular disease entity, um, then seek out a board certified vascular surgeon to, to help you and work together with you into, in, into coming up with, with a solution to your, uh, to your problem.